Hello everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate Samsung's wireless Dex for TV functionality. This is a feature that can be found on many Samsung flagship phones and this is one of the most amazing features I've seen because it turns your smart TV into a personal computer, complete with a keyboard and mouse. By the way, Dex is also known as desktop experience. Now, I have covered this feature before where I demonstrated One UI 2.5 but I realized that I never made a separate video about this feature. So I thought I'd cover wireless decks in this video and this will also make a good filler video while we are waiting for the One UI 3 update. Alright, so you may be asking which Samsung Galaxy smartphone supports wireless decks? Well, pretty much every Samsung flagship smartphone starting from the Galaxy S9 series all the way to the Galaxy Note 20 series supports wireless decks. And yes, this also includes the Galaxy S20 and future Galaxy flagships that are going to be released. So before I jump into the actual demonstration, let me answer a question that many of you guys seem to be having. So a lot of you guys want to know what kind of a TV do I need for this feature to work? Well, if you drop down the notification panel and tap on Dex and tap on view more information, it will take you to this website. So it says here, we recommend using a Samsung Smart TV released in or after 2019. Well, that is not true. It also works on older TVs. I have tested this feature out on my 2016 LG Smart TV. It works perfectly fine. So the thing is, as long as your TV supports screen sharing or screen mirroring or mirror cast, the wireless DeX functionality should work perfectly fine. And pretty much every TV in the market supports screen mirroring and screen sharing, even the non-smart TVs. So with that doubt cleared out, let me go ahead and demonstrate wireless decks. Alright, so first off, switch your TV on, then grab your phone, drop down the notification panel and look for decks. Tap on decks and you will see your TV listed right over here. Then just tap on the model number of your TV. The phone will give you a little prompt. Tap on start now and that is pretty much it. Now we are running Samsung DeX wirelessly through our phone on our TV. Awesome, right? Let's dive in into a little bit more detail. One of the most amazing and wonderful features of Samsung wireless DeX is that you can plug in a standard computer keyboard and a mouse into one of the USB ports of the TV. And this allows you to use the keyboard and the mouse as input devices. So as you can see, I can type using the keyboard and this pretty much transforms the TV into a personal computer complete with a keyboard and mouse. It kind of gives you Windows like experience. As you can see, you've got icons on your desktop and whenever you double click an icon, the apps open up in a window, just like they do on a Windows PC, although this is running Android. And this is actually true multitasking happening on the phone. Keep in mind this is not running on the TV. All of the applications are on the phone and they are all open together simultaneously and you can work on any one of them, have them open side by side and they appear just like applications do on a Windows PC. And while you are using Samsung DeX, the screen of the phone is off. So it's not like the screen is turned on all the time when you are using DeX. But the thing is, you can turn the display on and the phone is fully functional. So you can do stuff on your phone as well as use wireless decks. So if I want to make a quick phone call, I can do that. Just grab the phone, hit the power button, make a phone call and that is it. Amazing, right? And you can do pretty much anything you wish. Like for example, you can give presentations, create documents, Text your friends over Snapchat or show your photos and videos on a big screen. Also when I was playing back this 4K video, there was no stuttering, no lag or any frame drop. So that's a good sign. So you can also use the Dex functionality to show photos and videos on a big screen. And also, whenever you play back a video or an audio file, the audio will actually play back on your TV speaker, not on the phone. So that's a good thing. So here's a fun fact. If you have a home theater system hooked up to your TV, whenever you play music or watch a video, the sound will actually play back through the home theater. This is not running through Bluetooth. This is running through the Samsung DeX feature because my home theater doesn't even have Bluetooth. 
And yes siri, you can still use your S Pen to control the music player on the phone. So this will allow you to enjoy your music on big speakers. Now, if you have an LG TV that comes with one of these magic remotes, you can use the magic remote as a mouse. And for this to work, there is no additional configuration required. It works automatically once you connect your phone to the TV. By the way, guys, if you enjoy watching my content, don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts, especially on Instagram. I do post a lot of stuff over here and I will put my social media link in the video description. Now, if you want an on-screen keyboard, go to settings, then go to the Samsung DeX settings, go to keyboard, then tap on on-screen keyboard location and select TV or monitor, then enable show on-screen keyboard in Samsung DeX. So as you can see, this provides you with an on-screen keyboard and you can use the magic remote or a mouse to type stuff. So this eliminates the need of a keyboard and a mouse on LG smart TVs. Just use the magic remote as an input device. I'm actually surprised to see that Samsung DeX is even more compatible with the LG TV that I've got. And this TV is from 2016. It's not a new TV. Very impressive to see this kind of compatibility with LG WebOS TVs. And yes, it is completely possible to play simple games like Candy Crush using the magic remote. They are completely playable. I've also noticed that the input lag is very minimal although that might depend on your TV, but for me, there was absolutely no lag and the game was playable. Also, what I have noticed is that the keyboard does not always work on LG TVs. So what you can do is plug in the keyboard's receiver into the phone using a USB Type-C to Type-A adapter, and then you will be able to use a physical keyboard to type stuff while you are using the wireless DeX functionality. Now, if you don't have a keyboard or a mouse to plug in into your TV, what you can do is use your phone's display as a trackpad. So turn the phone on, drop down the notification panel and tap on use your phone as touchpad. So this will provide you with an on-screen touchpad on the phone that you can use to control the mouse on Samsung DeX. And you have full multi-touch input so you can pinch out to zoom in or pinch in to zoom out. I think the camera's autofocus is getting confused, but yeah, you can use two fingers to scroll like this. You can also use multi-touch input in the gallery. So to scroll, you can use two fingers. And if you want to zoom in into an image, so let's open this up. If you want to zoom in, just pinch out like this, that will zoom in. And if you want to zoom out, pinch in like this. So multi-touch input is available in the trackpad that, that appears on your phone. Now to quit the trackpad on the phone, we will go back like this because I'm using gestures and that will quit the trackpad. If you have navigation icons, swipe up and just press the back button. So this on-screen trackpad kind of eliminates the need of connecting a keyboard or a mouse because it provides you with an on-screen mouse that you can control using your phone. I know someone's gonna ask me about gaming on Samsung DeX, so here are my thoughts. Games with simple touch input like Candy Crush, they work perfectly fine. You can use a mouse or the magic remote to play this game, but you will not be able to use keyboard. See, the thing is, majority of the games on Play Store are made for touch input. So in majority of the games, keyboard does not work. So long story short, this feature isn't really meant for gaming and it's more of a productivity slash business tool. But still, you can get away playing simple games on Samsung DeX. Alright, so I guess that wraps it up for this video. I do believe that Samsung DeX is an amazing functionality, especially the wireless DeX functionality. And if you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section down below. I'll try and answer them. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you in the next video.